All right, guys, what's up? Part three of the salient. He's been dug out of the grave, um, partly due because we have nerf these nuts that's coming up. Uh, we need two things from this, basically. We need to test a local Stericota to see if he does a good job, and then two, uh, wrap this up, sell it, so I can put that money back into nerf these nuts. Uh, if, you have, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just check, um, the, I think it's the previous video before this, and uh, it's just, Instagram is anti-gun, anti-whatever, so I'm just, you know, this is going to be a ton-in-cheek project. Okay, uh, let's get started about this. First of all, these guys, where's my phone? These guys are called OC Custom Coding. So if you're based in Long Beach, I'm going to be telling, uh, well, not, you don't have to be based in Long Beach. They're based in Anaheim. So it'll be a it'll be a drive there for me and back, but um, these are the guys I was talking about in the, the other video, and I want to show you guys the price. I called them once already. I'm gonna call them a second time to really make sure that you know th their airsoft is okay. That's one thing you always have to do with Cerakotas. Uh, anything real steel guys, uh, uh, man. I I've had I have a lot of experience with calling real steel places trying to get stuff done to airsoft, and a lot of them just it's unfortunate, but they're either rude, they write you off, or they just try to upcharge. I don't know what it is. Realistically speaking, we should be hand in hand supporting each other, but that's not how it is. It's still not that way. Thankfully, uh, I, I don't watch that guy, but I know it went shit. That video went viral. Um, that T Rex with the, the the kid shooting those guns, like that was cool to see. That's the kind of stuff we need to to kind of go forward. And then I know EMG is kind of partnering with companies, you know, we, EMG, E-Bike, they're partnering with Real Steel. So that stuff will kind of hopefully progress it. They'll start to understand what you can do with Airsoft, but they're, they're a long way from that. Okay, moving on to, sorry I got sidetracked, I just, it was a little rant, I get annoyed. Um, so I'm going to call one more time, make sure they're cool with it. And you guys can see right here, I don't know if you guys can see. Hang, it says complete handgun starting at $200. Slide only $75, frame only $85. We need to do more than that because take a look at this. I put this away and <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see, there's the rust forming on this magwell already. It's Nova did an absolute shit job. I feel like the, most of the coating is just lame though. Uh, thankfully there's no rust on the other steel parts so far, but I can tell you right now with this already showing rust, um, I don't, I don't, I don't trust it. So we're gonna get this whole damn thing circoded. Now, you know, after watching, if you watched part two, I was, I think I was, I was pretty devastated. Okay, this wasn't a cheap project. This is a very expensive, you know, kit that I'm trying to sell, and uh, you know, we get this. You know, <laughs> you guys see, this sucker is loose. The good thing about Cerakote is if you know what you're doing and if they're skilled, we can get rid of this somewhat. Okay, I I guessed about, we have about a 0 0.0.20 millimeter for top down. So I think we can add that much thickness on the top. As for the side, left to right, I'd probably say 0 0.05 left and right to kind of get that thick. Now, are we going to be able to get that? I have absolutely no clue. Uh, you know, I'm going to talk to them. We're going to figure out what we can do. I think in the end, we'll be able to hopefully reduce the top down. That's what my main goal is. And also to change this guy up. All right, salient black is cool. Okay, this is classic. All right, fine. I, I'll, I'll accept that. But you guys know me. I, You know, at first I was like, I want to do it all black, but I kind of want to um, do this in uh, FTE or like a, a brown or a tan. You know, I'll probably ask Patreon. You guys can throw throw in your your votes. Let me know. But I mean, if you go on Circle, by the way, guys, if you aren't based where I am and you're trying to find a Circle, don't forget you can go to Circle.com and find an applicator. That's how I actually found my original guy. He, He's not even like a, like a, a, a retail store or a brick and mortar. He was literally like a guy that worked out of his garage. Older gentleman, great guy. He's he's retired. So that's why I'm kind of on the hunt for a new place. And the place I'm going to is like, you know, they got a brick and mortar. They got like an actual shop. 
Cups, but you can find people on here that are like officially licensed with Cerakote because you do have to go to uh, it's like a, I think it's like a course and kind of you know you got to complete it, all right? So you can just look on here and look at all the colors. Now each store will have different colors. Like my guy, he didn't have like the specialty colors. Like he didn't have like prison pink on hand or Corvette yellow. I'm assuming this place I'm going to will have a bigger selection because they're just, you know, they look much bigger. So check with your applicator first. But I'm thinking something along the line of like Desert Sand, McMillan Tan. Where's the other one? Like maybe Mud Brown. I don't know. I, I would even consider a tactical gray. Okay, so no no brown. It's either tan or gray. So guys, get some, get some votes in there. We'll see what Patreon says. We need to test these guys out, okay? And I think we're gonna be a, this will be a good start. Now, as for how I'm gonna brainstorm going there is how I did it with my first guy, okay? I literally took I, I literally took my high cap of that, my first project with him there. I dissembled it in front of him a hundred percent. And I explained to him, like, you know, what this does, you know, all that kind of stuff. Now, I, obviously, I'm going to, like, a bigger store. I don't even know if they're going to have time for that. So, that's why I'm going to call them. And if they don't want to deal with that, then I would, you know, probably just try to say, okay, you know, teach them, like, okay, this is important. But the reality, guys, is is real steel is actually, I know some of you, no, the, the reality is airsoft pistols have a lot more, smaller parts moving around and going on than real steel. I would probably say cert coating real steel is a little bit easier than doing airsoft. And I think maybe that's why sometimes, you know, I get negative responses from guys. Oh, we don't want to do. You know, they don't want to do what they haven't done before. But that's why I want to go in there and try to like take it apart. I can assemble this guy under five minutes, you know, even faster if I need to, really fast and just show him, hey, this is what this does, blah, blah, like, for example, guys, we don't want a Cerakote. If we can do a really thin coat, it's fine. Inside, sure, fine. Because I, I have the, the blowback unit isn't a like a, a super tight fit. So this could be, you know, like maybe one coat and then two, three coats on the outside. But that's something you guys have to understand and work with your Cerakoter is, you know, each guy is going to have different practices. I don't let's see what these guys say. If they have anything about what they do. Uh, probably not. So, okay, they even do engraving, so, but we don't need engraving on this guy, so. Uh, doesn't say anything about their, about us, maybe. Okay, yeah. So, this is going to be something I'm going to have to learn from them inside. Uh, Everyone's going to have different level of thickness they do, okay? That's why you got to talk with them. And I'm going to, when I go to this place, I will tell you guys how my talk conversation went. Because I, I want to get this done this week. It's Monday. I, I want to get this done by Friday at least. Or maybe attempt to go there tomorrow or whatever. And, okay, so what I want to do is, I've done this before, okay? I've done it before on a 9-ball frame. And I've done it on a 9-ball frame, a TM frame. There's one more frame. I forget the third frame, but I, basically, me and my my other guy that I was very familiar. We were very familiar. I, I sent a lot of airsoft guns to him, so we got like familiarized very quick. We started putting extra coats on the rails, uh, you know, top around here. Sometimes that they were very loose, and it worked out really wonderful. The thing that sucks about Cerakote is, it is an absolute pain in the ass. Uh, if it's just too tight and you you're gonna have to be prepared to sand that I'm prepared to sand that if this gets too tight with them Okay, I'm willing to take a chance because At least if we get it tight, I'll be happier me and me mentally I'll be happier that you know, this is you know, this whole kit is over two thousand dollars and uh, Now it's nice and tight Sure, I'll have to put some elbow and grease in it, but that I'll I'll take that chance Okay so that's what I really want to do. I really want to take it apart in front of them. If they don't have the time for that, I'm assuming they're not going to have the time for that. Okay. Then realistically speaking, we're going to get the frame done. Magwell. 
uh, actually all the externals. I, I don't know. I don't. This is not real. Uh, uh, what's it, what's the material called, guys? G something. It's not we, for sure. I can't. I don't think it's real. It, it'd be hilarious if it was, but I doubt it. Uh, the question is, we have extra. So what we could do is, I could give them one that I don't really care about the test, and they get because this is also another thing. You know, airsoft material is different from real steel, guys. So if it's the plastic or something, you, you have to stand. You have to make sure you have backups. So thankfully, we have backups. Like I don't think we'll be we'll be mad if we lose one but that will give them time to adjust okay the oven or whatever their material they're I mean whatever they're putting in the right temperature for this kind of material so like I would love to circoat this but I'm thinking like a full tan with this you know we'll leave oh shoot we'll leave that silver we leave the barrel we're definitely leaving the barrel gold okay the barrel is gonna stay gold I think that's a, that's a must uh, the rear sights, front and rear sights will stay the colors. Oh man, yeah, I, I'm not, I'm now I'm looking at it and I'm trying to picture it. I think I might have to take a picture and then play around in Photoshop. Um, I, I just, I don't want to do black, alright, black is boring. Alright, and I want to spice this up, so, so whoever's buying this hay, this custom coat. this looks different, my salient stands out. And that's, this. I want to turn this into eye grabber, okay? I think that's it for now, guys. I'll update when we get to the guys, okay? Take it easy, guys.